Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of Microsoft Edge, and as I mentioned, this week was going to be Browser Update Week, and Edge has now also been bumped up to version 133. Now to check out the update, we head to our main menu, Help and Feedback, about Microsoft Edge. Latest version in bold is now sitting on 133.0.3065.51. Now, first of all, as always, Microsoft says they have fixed various bugs and performance issues with this update. And then we get seven Edge-specific security fixes that have rolled out for the Edge browser itself. So quite a lot going on with security um, with this latest update. And then we also get the latest Chromium security fixes where if you missed my previous videos this week, that includes 12 security fixes. Two are rated as high severity, which is just below critical. There are no critical or any zero days. And the two high severity flaws are use after free in skier and use after free in V8. And the rest of those vulnerabilities are medium. So quite a lot going on um, when it comes to under the hood security um, improvements in Edge version 133. Then we also get a bug fix that Microsoft has deemed important enough to mention for this release, where they fixed an issue which prevented users from selecting report this file as safe when downloading a file. So that's quite an important fix, and I can see why they actually pushed that out and listed that um, separately. And then when it comes to feature updates, lots going on under the hood for corporations and enterprises. Won't be of much interest to your average home user but there are three improvements that I'm going to mention that I think you may have found interesting. The first new feature is the scareware blocker and if we head into our settings head over to privacy search and services and then scroll down to where you get security. Here's the new scareware blocker just take note it's still in preview it's toggled off by default and it says allow Microsoft to use AI to detect potential tech scams. Now I have actually posted a whole video on this scareware blocker because it started rolling out um, as a server side update towards the end of last month, January. And I've, I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen because we did a hands-on review and you'll get all the information regarding scareware blocker that you would need from that video. But just a quick recap um, from, the from the release notes. Scary blocker in Microsoft Edge, apparently according to Microsoft, is your AI powered shield designed to protect you and your users from scary attacks once enabled, because remember it's off by default. So once enabled, scary blocker uses machine learning ML to identify and block uh, the scams keeping you safe as you browse the web. So if you are interested in privacy, maybe you want to leave that off because obviously it's using AI, but nonetheless, that's the new scary blocker, which some users may find um, quite handy. And then they've updated the downloads UI to improve performance with Microsoft saying the downloads user interface is rewritten to improve performance, customer facing functionality and UX from previous releases remain the same. So. Um, there should be a bit of a performance kind of improvement with that downloads you are now according to Microsoft, which I think is great. And then there's a new shopping product tracking where you can track product prices easily with a new experience, as Microsoft likes to call it, in the Edge address bar that appears on the product detail page and you can then track prices quickly and will be notified when there is a price drop on that product. So, and that's it guys. I haven't noticed any other front facing features with this latest version upgrade. I have noticed though, especially with Microsoft Edge, that they do push out a lot of their new tweaks and adjustments and little features. As an example, like Scareware Blocker with point release updates or with server side updates. And these version upgrades are really becoming just big security updates to some extent or the other. But nonetheless, that's version 133. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.